In today's video, we are going to talk about the recent drop in the silver spot price and talk about a trip to my local coin shop. <laughs> Hey guys, Tennessee Silver Stacker here. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Also, head over to my Instagram and Twitter pages and follow me for daily pictures and videos. All links are in the description below. With this recent drop in the spot price of around $2 over the last week, does this mean that the premiums will drop as well? The spot price is hovering around $26 and change and hasn't really shown much of an indication of it jumping back up as fast as it did during the initial silver squeeze. As of today, March 17th, the spot price has risen a little bit up to $26.44 as of making this video, but that isn't something to be worried about. I haven't bought any silver over the past few months because of these crazy premiums along with my financial situation right now. I know I talked about changing my strategy to buying mainly junk silver during these times, but I haven't been able to afford to do that right now. Also, I can't bring myself to spend upwards of 10 to $12 over the spot price on silver. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm doing an awesome mail call from my friend CFH Cut. So where do you draw the line? Is buying silver with this high of a premium worth it at this point? The way I see it, it isn't. For example, the silver spot price is 26 and change. The premium of a generic one ounce round is around $5 to $6 over spot. You are now paying $32 plus tax on top of that. And if you make the mistake of using a credit card instead of cash, you get another charge on top of that as well. $32 is what the old price of what I was paying for American Silver Eagles. I know with buying junk silver, I wouldn't be paying as much of a premium, but at the same time, is it worth it? There's no telling how long it will be until the premiums drop back down to normal. And if it does, your dollar cost average is going to take a huge hit. For those of us that stack for weight and don't really do any kind of collecting. Also, what if the spot price goes down as well when the premiums drop? That's even more of a hit with your average. I know the hardcore long-time stackers have said they haven't stopped buying during these times, but I'm not one of those people as of yet. I just started late last year. I haven't had the privilege of buying low and having the spot price raised $10 plus over the years. What is your guys' perspective on this? Am I wrong to want to wait until a more reasonable premium since I am newer to stacking? Am I doing the wrong thing? Please let me know. I value everyone's opinions and your comments only help me gain knowledge since I am newer. Recently, I had gone to my local coin shop to see what they have been doing during these crazy times. I love this place because the staff there is amazing and the main guy I talked to is knowledgeable and has helped me form my stacking strategy. He could have just made more of a profit off of my lack of knowledge but instead, he really helped me out when I was brand new, and I really appreciate that. When I walked in, I was shocked. Never have I seen 
the generic bin with only two or three rounds in it. I didn't know what to think. There is usually close to or over 100 ounces of rounds in there at all times. They did have some eagles and a decent amount of junk silver. Also, about the same amount of collector's pieces displayed as before. He informed me that because of the shortages, he has had to raise the premiums because he had to start buying from the larger companies instead of buying secondhand from people coming into the shop. That is something I had talked about in a previous video. To make it short, if they buy secondhand, their premiums can stay low for selling you silver. If they buy from the big companies, their premiums have to reflect the high cost due to the bigger companies having their own premiums themselves. I completely understand that they had to raise their premiums. No harm there. It's just a part of owning a successful business. He told me he was hoping some people would come in and unload their stacks so he could buy second hand and build up their inventory and therefore being able to lower his premiums back down. This was really an eye opener to me to see firsthand the shortage of silver from businesses that sell it. It's definitely not like a few months ago, being able to walk in there and sift through the good old generic bin for a new interesting piece I haven't seen before. It seems like those times are long gone for now. This trip, I went when the spot price was around the low $25 range too. For my subscribers who watch my videos weekly, you all know I don't really leave my house unless I absolutely have to. And this was my first trip in months, and I was just shocked. How are your guys' local coin shops looking like? Are they experiencing the same shortages as well? Have their premiums raised? It is unfortunate, but for now, it seems like I may not really be able to be purchasing silver until these premiums lower. I'm a little mad about that because this has ruined my goals for this year weight-wise for silver stacking. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Now let's do a mail call from my friend CFH Cut. Hey guys, I got another package in. Um, it's from my friend over at CFH Cut. Uh, he contacted me and... Uh, was interested in doing a sticker trade. And uh, so, yeah, his package came in. Um, so, I'm going to open it off camera with my awesome little cane knife. Okay, so inside the package, it says Tennessee Silver Stacker, pay it forward, or maybe it's payback if someone owes you. CFH. So let's see. And I'm going to reuse this bag too. Okay, and inside the little baggie. Very cool. He gave me two of his stickers. This is actually a really cool design. I like the dice. I want to look at it a little bit better. So, very cool. Let me look at the other one. Again, very cool design. 
CFH cut. I like the flames. That's awesome. Put it right here. And he gave me a little gift with another sticker. Let me pull this out real quick. Okay, I'm gonna put that down over here. Another cool. I like this design too. It has the, uh, just like in the other ones. I like that. This right here. And, oh cool, even on the back has his design. Awesome. So this is a, um, this is a certificate of authenticity. And it's eight grams. And again, very, very cool. Has his design in there. Very cool. This is my first piece of poured silver, actually. And um, it's cool that he has his own stamp. And again, on the back, eight grams. Very, very cool. This is awesome. Thank you very much. And I will be sending your stickers out soon. I know this video is not going to post for a few weeks from uh, when I got the package. Because uh, I'm finally ahead with videos. Um, I got so tired of the night before having to edit and edit and edit and stay up all night. And um, I finally got to the point where I could catch up since um, I don't think I said it on my YouTube channel yet, but I re-injured my hip um, that uh, I had had surgery on in 2018 and I could barely walk right now. Um, so I'm dealing with the VA and trying to get appointments and finally scheduled an MRI. So, but, uh, yeah, so I have all this time on my hands where I can't do anything really. Um, so I decided to really try to get ahead. So, um, you will get your stickers before this video posts. And again, thank you very much. Cause this is, this is awesome. Like, I've had my eye on many um, poured pieces and everything from the community, and I don't really have the money to go out and buy them. So, like right now, since I'm playing catch up, so this is this is awesome. This is my first piece. Um, I love that you have your own stamp. This is this is cool. It's a personal piece. Very awesome. Um, so thank you very much. As always, I will post your Instagram page. Because I, I believe that's all you have is an Instagram page. So I'll post your Instagram in the description of this video. So everyone, please head over to his page. And, um, and give him a follow. Very nice guy. We... I've been talking through messages about different things and um, it's cool. He he's around, he lives around where, I, pretty close to where I grew up, maybe like 40 minutes away. Um, Cause I'm originally from, uh, from New England. So it's, uh, it's cool. And again, thank you. Everyone, please go check them out. But that's going to be it for this video.
make sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified when I post my weekly videos. Also, head over to my Instagram and Twitter pages and follow me for daily updates. I hope you had a good week and a great day. I'll see you next time.